This is Twit. Okay, so to, to your question about social media, the technology in this is one of the things that caused me to just say, okay, <laughs> we're losing this battle. Um, a, a malware was found, which was scanning, um, uh, shoot, I can't remember the, the, the site that it was scanning, um, Snapchat, uh, and was looking at comments to a Britney Spears Snapchat posting, the malware would scan through the comments, running a custom hash over each comment. If the hash value matched 183, and that's so, so this is not a cryptographic hash because, as we know, a cryptographic hash would make it computationally infeasible to deliberately synthesize a comment that had a known hash output. So this was a, you know, this was a non-cryptographically strong hash, but the point was it was good enough that the bad guys could make a given comment hash to a value that they wanted. So it, so it would successively step through these comments. If the hash matched 183, it would then run a regular expression, a regex, on the comment to obtain the path of a bitly URL. And the regex would essentially look for uh, a number of short strings or characters and then extract the character following the one that matched the regex. And it would do it repeatedly through that string. So, so the idea was the comment would contain a series of characters embedded, which, which, the, which an unseen pattern match would cause to be successively extracted to create a bitly link. So for example, in this example, and then this was, this actually occurred, someone named a Smith 2155 posted a comment pound signed to hot make loved to her comma ups pound hot pound X. Well, that it turns out that unseen because the the the, the backslash two zero zero D is a Unicode character which is called the zero width joiner, normally used to separate emojis. So it's a non-printing, non-visible joiner which does pass through any filtering because you want to allow the emoji joiner to to be to allow emojis to get posted. So so the bad guys know all of this. So they put this backslash U200D in successively in front of the of the printable ASCII that they are that, that they want this regex to select out of the comment in order to synthesize a bitly link, which then the malware fetches, which redirects it to the command and control server, which in this case resolved to static dot travel clothes dot org and then a slash and a URL to a PHP page, which was also used in the past as a watering hole command and control server by the group that was known to have produced this malware. So standing back a little bit from this, the moral of the story is, as with other forms of uh, steganography, which I would argue this is a form of, that is, as we know, steganography is, is the practice of putting something in public view which is obscured in some way that you can look at it and not see what's there. So I would argue this is a form of that. So as with other forms, it is not feasible to attempt to examine 
public media for its hidden meaning. The only way to find this is to, to discover the endpoints that access that hidden content and then look at where they are looking in order to find this. So this is just diabolical. It's, and it's ingenious. Essentially, it's a little it, bit ingenious. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I, mean, I got to have mean, respect for that. Yes, and that's the point. It demonstrates that, um, you know, I don't want to say we should give up, but <laughs> it's like, okay, you know, we're not going to win this. I mean, this is the, 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 this is clever leveraging of very powerful technology, which was put in place for a good purpose, but is being abused. And, you know, there's more of it being produced every day than, than the bad guy, than the good guys, the white hat security researchers are able to keep up with. Right. So right. now, where wow. would I, where would I use this? Would this mostly be sort of a command and control node? Would this be a way for me to tell the malware what I want it to do? Or right, yeah. right. So the idea would w would be you want you want you you have malware deployed all all over the internet, and you want to be able to securely and anonymously send it instructions in a way that but you don't want to embed the command right. and control in the malware itself because that's how because we've taken then, down taken them down in the past if if you've a, got a malware system and you take down the cnc uh, node then it all ceases but in this particular case the command and control node is the internet so how are you, it's how exactly. you how would you take everything down exactly and so wow. the malware is looking is like out there reading social media just like users do but it's it's doing it with foreknowledge of the way that postings will be laced into the social media to to communicate to it, and so it's it's running a a, a hash function over the postings, looking for those postings that hash to 183, and if found, it then runs a regex over it to extract it I mean very much the same way right. the spy novels have you know go to page 13 and go down five lines and over three words and take the first character of that word then go here 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 anyway and you assemble a message this is doing that and there's just no way to catch it except yep. to yep. i mean that there there is you know it is is steganography um in practice no longer just in theory. And sure, it certainly w it, it, it could be that photos could be posted where the least significant bits of the of the of one color or the intensity um, vector in the photo uh, contain the information. But this was actually found in the wild. It is being done. The, so, di the diabolical part of that theory. is, I mean, look at the ways that we would use to break up a botnet. Uh, command and control. Okay, so that won't work. Also, you could look for trigger phrases. And if you find any of those trigger phrases, you can figure, filter out the trigger phrases. That won't work because you can make multiple phrases that will hash out to 183. Um, so, yeah, this, again, well, I understand it's being used for nefarious things, but this is kind of brilliant. And we can't take we can't take Instagram down. <laughs> I mean, you know. Well, we could, like, but, you know, we don't want to. <laughs> and that's the other thing that's diabolical is that by putting this in a in a super popular public stream, it, you know, we lose the ability to take the malware offline by preventing by preventing all instances from going to a single point. All instances are now indirecting them through something that cannot be taken down. Well, I think what we've learned here is that if you want to be secure, it's it's actually quite simple. All you need to do is uh, don't look for anything concerning Britney Spears. That's right. That's it. That fixes it.